Good evening, everyone. The last time these two teams played back in February, the undefeated North Central Jets came away with a two point win over Munising. And tonight in Nagani, both teams duked it out for a shot at the Class D regional final. Let's start in the third quarter with the game tied at 30. For the Mustangs, the senior connection, Alex Hill to Andy Cooper, who drives and scores. Mustangs up two at 32 30. For North Central, Rob Granquist drives. He hits the jumper. We are tied at 32. This game went back and forth. A little bit later, Jason Whitens to Caleb Martin, who gets the layup, and the Jets have a two point lead. Coach Adam Mercer hoping his North Central Jets would stay strong. Here is a good play for the Mustangs, though, off the Andy Cooper miss. The hustle for the ball goes right to Ben Stacewich, who gets the bucket and one. He made the free throw and Munising trailed 38 37 after three quarters. In the fourth now, Dawson Bilski comes up big, misses a reverse layup. Rob Grinquist gets the rebound and Bilski in the corner 4 3. Yes, that is good. That was the first hoop of the quarter. Jets up 41 37 and Bilski topped all scores with 18 points. For the orange and black now, Ben stays switch to bring Munising within 41 39. He pings Munising with 17 points and 11 rebounds. But the Mustangs only score one point in the next five minutes. On the other hand, the Jets would score seven straight. Rob Grinquist there with the hoop and the harm. 46 39 Jets. Grinquist had 10 points. And North Central advances to the regional final again with a hard fought 48 44 win over Munising. The Jets opponent was determined in the first game between Forest Park and Lake Linden Hubble. So let's go to that game. We begin in the third quarter, and the Lakes have a six point lead. They are up 27 21. For the Trojans, Lee Graff, no, but Austin Carlson. That's yeah, good. Trojans within six, 29, 23. Brett Poisson barely catches this pass, drives and finds Tyler Roos for three, 32, 23 Lakes. A steal and layup by Roos made it 34, 23. He had 17 points, so Chris Nasserini will take a timeout. Then Adam Hilbert spins, drives and floats one in for Forest Park. Trojans cut the deficit to seven, 38, 31 after three quarters. In the fourth, a key play here. Roos's pass is deflected, and Lucas Klein gets the bucket here. Cameron Krajewski for the Trojans to Adam Hilberg, and he knocks down the tray. Trojans down 42-36 with six minutes to go, and they would not get any closer. Arthur Lyons buries a triple to give the Lakes more breathing room. A second triple gave the White Shirts a 47-38 lead, and he had 17 points. Brett Poisson led all scorers with 20, and the Lakes are in a trip to the regional final with a 60-42 win. They, of course, take on North Central this Wednesday at 7 o'clock in a battle of the undefeateds. In another Class D regional semifinal, St. Ignis upset Cedarville 73-61. Joey Duncan hampered by a broken bone in his hand, so the Saints will take advantage. Gage Kresge added 26 points, and St. Ignis will take on Hillman in the regional finals. This was Trojans head coach Dave Duncan's last game. To Class E at Marquette, where Ironwood met Iron Mountain in the very first game. Carson Wonders is not bashful about shooting. He gives the Mountaineers the first score of the game with his outside shot. For the Red Devils now, Jake DiGiorgio to Jared Zabaluski. Nice backdoor pass to Denver Shero for the layup. We are tied at two. But the bad news for Ironwood, that was their only basket in the first quarter. Then for Iron Mountain, Tanner Hootery, Kyle Johnson, Brock Grenier. 6-2, Mountaineers. Then for Iron Mountain, Carson Wonder is not done just yet. Finds another path down the lane for the basket and foul. 9-2 Iron Mountain after a successful free throw four minutes into the game. Team getting pumped up there. Then off of the Wonders miss, Jake Toman will clean it up for him. This putback made it 11-4. It was 17-4 after one. Iron Mountain rocked and rolled and danced its way to a 20-point win, 72-52. In the second game now, Ishpeming taking on Boyne City for a shot at Iron Mountain in the regional finals. The Habitats attack in the paint down low early on as Ozzy Corp gets the layup. Ishpeming up by four. Then Cole Butler's jumper will give the Ramblers their second bucket of the game. They are trailing by six. On the other end, it's Corp to Thomas Finnegan inside for two. Off the dribble for Ishpeming. Luke Julio, a big tray for the Hematites, and they have a seven point lead. Ramblers call a timeout. However, Boyne City led 24 22 at the half, and they start to pull away in the second half. Tanner Cruzel hits the J. Ramblers up six. 
Ozzy Hackeron and 4-ish Bemink follows up his own miss with the putback to bring the Hematites within four. But in the end, the Ramblers earn the 50-43 win over Ishpeming. They take on Iron Mountain in the regional finals on Wednesday. The Escanaba Eskimos getting pumped up before their Class B regional semifinal against Sheboygan in Manistique. The Eskimos grab the early lead as Sam Molnar makes the nice move and scores the pull-up jumper. He led all scorers with 17 points. Eski up by 5-9-4. Then the Chiefs worked the ball around to Jared Proctor for three. He had three triples and 12 points. Sheboygan still down 13 to eight. In the second quarter we go. Chris Rose spots up from three from the top of the arc, knocks it down. He had 10 points. Eskimos up by six. Then Eski works it down low to Jake Rodman. He scored three straight baskets in the second quarter and ended up with 14 points. Escanaba led 27-17 at the half in a big fourth quarter. Sends the Eskimos into the regional final 61-46. And Escanaba will face Cadillac Wednesday night in Sault Ste. Marie. For more sports scores and highlights, visit our website up for michigansource.com. I kind of ran out of time, did not have time to mention the UP All-State hockey teams, but they are on our website for Division 2 and Division 3, if you guys want to check those out. You've had a busy month already, yes. and it's not over. <laughs> We're almost getting close to the girls' finals on the 21st down there in Lansing and the boys a week after that, so very close to a finish. Yeah, a couple of good games tonight, too. Oh, yeah, very, very good. Close. All right, thanks, Lily. Well,